Hi everybody, we're in beautiful Rome. I've got a great view of St. Peter's Basilica where Pope Francis himself probably is not, but he might be. The Pope, brought to you by Samsung. Where we're going right now is we're going to go to a place called Neighborhood Restaurant, and it is a traditional Filipino restaurant. The Filipinos have really carved out a niche for themselves, both coming here to work, and the Filipinos are so highly Catholic, and so there's the attraction of the fact that the seat of the Catholic Church is right here in Italy. They also have a need, of course, to have food that is comforting to them, that is familiar to them, and so places like Neighborhood Restaurant are catering to the Filipino population here in Italy. Claire, hi. Hi. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Me too. The area where your family is from in the Philippines, what is it called? We are from Pampanga. Pampanga. It's the center culinary of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Before you came to Italy, had you eaten much Italian food? Absolutely, no. In your life? <laughs> I was a little girl when I came here. Right. I was 12. But I, I ate Nutella. You <laughs> <laughs> Nutella, yeah. For you and your family, what was the decision to come to Italy? In the Philippines, the way of living is very difficult. So my, my father, he came here like in, it was 1992. Mm. And then slowly he filed documents to, for us, for his brother and so on. Neighborhood restaurant is here to show everyone that even Filipinos uh, can make it better. We're doing very well. We are a racing restaurant. You're business owners and you're participating in the community. In the community, the Italian and Filipino community. Are most of the people that come and eat are Filipino or are they Italian or is it a mix? We serve a lot of Filipino, like 80% Filipino, like 10%, 5% Italian, but we work for that. <laughs> then we are very close to the Vatican, so we have lots of clients that are nuns and priests, yes. cardinals uh, from oh, the wow. Philippines. In Italy, are you able to find all of the ingredients that you need? In a small region of Rome, in Latina, there's a farm handled by a Filipino farmer. He plants lots of typical vegetables so that Filipino are living here can have their okra, their ampalaya. So that's a very good resource yes. for you. Yeah. Filipino food is really on the rise in the United States. It's having sort of a moment of being more popular in, popular in the US, but it took a long time. We find it very difficult for Italian to love our cuisine. Mm. Italian are very traditional to their own food. They come here and try, but then it's difficult to get them as like a proper client. Right. In fact, when uh, we have Italian client, we have a different plating so that Oh, you they do? Can, yeah, we do it. We put some carrots, it's a little bit <laughs> colorful, like... Put a, a little zhuzh. Yes. I really want them to know that there's a Filipino restaurant here in Rome serving good food. <laughs> Crispy pata, that looks amazing. Uh, yes. I'm gonna have the soup first. This is the traditional Filipino sour soup sinigang. It's loaded with pork rib and traditional vegetables. And of course the main flavor is gonna be tamarind based, so it's gonna have a little bit of sweetness to go with what is traditionally a very sour, salty cuisine. The soup is really good. You've got these nice big chunks of pork to stretch it a little bit. You could say that this is minestrone-ish vegetable soup that you would find in Italian cooking, but you're just not gonna have that sourness that you would find in Filipino food. And you really do need to love that in order to enjoy the soup. And now I will bring forth this slate of fried pig. This is the crispy pata. This is the pork leg. We've got on the outside this beautiful crispy crunchy chicharron. That nice pig skin. And then below that, we should be able to get some actual meat. And that's really nice. You've got, you know, tender meat on the inside. You've got that crispy, crispy skin on the outside. I'm just going to use the, the salsa that Robert made, which is just looks like a really 
nice, simple soy base sauce with some chili and some scallions. It's kind of a sweet soy. We're gonna move on to this lovely fried sea bass. Now this dish is called peche a lo pobre, which means literally fish of the poor. You could draw parallels to bistec a lo pobre, which you would find in Mexico. Very simple preparation, something that any family could do or could afford to do, you know, food of the people. That is really nice. It's not overdone. You have this nice flaky sea bass. There is still that sour component that comes from the vinegar, but it's tempered in this case with the use of the soy sauce. That sort of rounds out the other primary flavor of Filipino food, which is salty. Really, really delicious. Man, I want to talk to those priests, too. One of them has a collar, for sure. I love eating. You <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Time a priest is a seminary. We got together today for a meal. We were discussing, we eat pasta or rice? Let's eat Filipino food. Yeah. We, we like to eat here because they really, they really prepare. We just wait for the food, chatting, discussing, because we know that the kitchen is preparing it well for us. Is the food here different than the food you've had growing up? Is it a different style or is it generally the same? When, once you get inside the neighborhood, you feel like you're in the Philippines. The taste as we can get here, it's typically Filipino. Welcome. <laughs> and take care, enjoy Thank Rome. You. Thank you yeah. very much. Italy has one of the greatest food cultures in the world. It's also, for the most part, very homogeneous. However, there are restaurants like this. It's just nice to know that if you are one of the immigrant population and you want that comfort food, you want to be reminded of what it was like you know, when you lived in your home country. As an immigrant, this is a place where you can come. It's really hard to put this together. And I think they're doing a great job. They're showing that you can achieve that balance, maintaining your customs and maintaining the traditions from your home country and also adapting to a new place. The food is excellent. She and her family deserve a lot of credit, a lot of respect for what they're doing here. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Neighborhood Restaurant in the Prati area of Rome. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy. Sorry. I don't speak Italian. Let's be honest. I have my little phone app, and I've been learning how to say things like, no me piaccio no le mele, which means I don't like the apples, which is false because I do like the apples, so I don't know why 